welcome to the Curiosity Show. Today, we're standing on top of one of the world's largest blocks of ice. It's a glacier, and in today's show, we're going to tell you a bit more about glaciers. And from that enormous block of ice to a very small one, an ice cube. And Rob, it's for you. Thank you, Dean. I'll use that later. <laughs> and an ice cube for me. But I'm not going to drink my iced water. It's for you, and it's a puzzle. Can you think of a way of getting that ice cube out of the water using a piece of string or cotton thread or wool and without tying a knot? It can be done. I wonder if you've seen this before. What you do is to place the thread or the string over the ice cube and then sprinkle on top of that thread some salt. There we are. Immediately, some of the ice cube starts to melt. But because there's so much ice around the string, that water, which is now seeped into the string, starts to refreeze. So you get little ice crystals locking into the string, and I can now lift the ice cube up and out of the water. It really does work. Why don't you try it with your friends? I want to know. Curiosity.